Uh, so first thing what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get Birdsong Way lifted up. We're going to run our um, rail line underneath. So it's going to be a bit of both. We're going to race up the road and we're also going to lower the rail line as well. I just want to realign um, using our network multi-tool. We just want to get the uh, sort of grades set up so they're nice and consistent through here. And so what we want to do here is set this as a, a fairly sort of even curve and we're going to bring it in here um, and set up our, um, our yard in this sort of area here. So we've got the sort of the mouth of the yard all set up and good to go here. And I guess we probably should start working on our sort of infrastructure to support that now. Uh, we are going to probably start to upgrade some of these roads as well as these dirt roads probably um, aren't really appropriate in this area anymore. So what we'll do is get those set up as some industrial roads. And what we're going to do is run a road around the back here. Connect that up there and we will upgrade that as well. As you can see, uh, we probably do need to reorganize this a little bit as we have our buildings butted right up against the road. So I'm going to quickly fix some of those where we can. <laughs> oh no, we've stuffed this, haven't we? It's alright, I will I will fix it, I promise. But just give me a sec. Alright, next we want to lay down our station that we're gonna use as the basis of this uh of this yard. And I think a grain elevator sort of station is probably going to be our best bet here. Um, we could build a freight terminal, but I think the grain elevator fits more in line with what's actually happening 
in this area. So we've got this one here, which I think is pretty good. Um, we'll need to lay down some uh, asphalt and stuff underneath it, but I think it's nice. We've actually forgotten to change the um, tracks, but I'm going to quickly do that now. Did that change? Yeah, it definitely did not. Actually, it, it probably did, but we've used the wrong... <laughs> the, uh, the wrong one. It's not changing, is it? Hang on a sec. Can we use Bob? able to. Okay, I'm almost entirely sure that this one works, so I'm going to run with this one instead. So, tough. There we go. That's a lot better. <laughs> okay, so we're back in business. Um, and yes, we do need to actually replace these and remove the overheads because we are not running overheads through this section of track. sort of stuff that a little bit. That's okay, we'll fix it. Why are you not disappearing? Hmm. It's a bit weird. got none. I guess um, there's something like a portal or something that we should remove or something. I don't know. What about that? Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, oh lordy. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't know, whatever. We're just going to pretend that's not there.
All right, and as I mentioned, we are going to need to lower this a little bit as well. I think to the level of um, our grain elevator is probably a nice place to start. I'm gonna lower a few of these. Okay, I think that's probably pretty good actually. And then I just want to use the network multi-tool uh, to gradually plop that down. Okay, I think that's pretty good. All right, so now that is in place, uh, we also need uh, some water as well. Because, yeah, we may as well just allow this to, to run um, while we're building it. Why not? What could go wrong? Right? Oh, I forgot. I think we're using the main line for this, aren't we? Have a look. Yes, we are. I think mainline stuff makes things a bit janky. Let's see, if we use a regular one, will that fix it? Yeah, it does. Perfect. All right, next, what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna get some siding set up pretty much. Um, so I'm just gonna use a uh, nice straight, I'm gonna turn off uh, snapping. Let's get some lovely straight tracks set up. Gonna make sure everything is all lined up and sort of the same height. By setting it to the object height, that is, yep, yeah, that's perfect. We're just going to make a couple of copies of it as well. All right, now what we're building here, um, as well as our sort of station that's going to hopefully take a little bit of freight tra traffic off the road, um, is also going to be a yard for our um, freight trains and, and the company that runs those trains as well. So let's get started um, sort of connecting this up into a somewhat, you know, yard-like uh, setup. We've got our first train going out. So this is um, the, I believe it's like American Freight Train Pack or something like that. Wow, that is massive. Um, which are um, sort of, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> which are like generic um, trains, um, somewhat American themed. It would be great if there was some European or even Australian themed generic trains, but there's not. And, you know, it is what it is. I'm not going to... I don't have the time to sort of build something like that, so I have to deal with it. But it, it's a good pack either way. It's a bit weird though, that uh, that little movement happening there. Uh, next, we're just gonna use node controller and move it to try and get these to look a little bit nicer. They're not quite as sort of janked out. like that. Um, no, actually I've changed my mind. That We shouldn't really have it set up like that anyway. It, they should have their own sort of entries slash exits. 
So we're going to set up different nodes for um for each of the sets of tracks. That looks nice. Um, this one here will take it back by one. And we'll have it sort of joining up there. Okay, that, that looks not too bad. Um, what we'll do is we'll use this track here as our through track. This will connect up to the Garnet Ore area eventually. Um, we will connect, uh, continue the rest of them and this one we will actually connect back up but we're going to set it so it can't be used by any trains because we're actually going to set this up with like some uh, some props and stuff like that. Okay, and I think a roundhouse is actually probably going to be a decent uh, thing to be putting here. I wonder if we have a turntable actually. Probably check that. Turntable. We don't have a turntable. Really? Okay, uh, probably roundhouse isn't going to be the best thing to be putting there then actually. <laughs> Um, so let's have a look at an engine shed then. All right, I just want to flatten this area out as well so we can place a engine depot in here. Uh, these ones we can use as um, procedural objects, actually, can't we?
Okay. We've got our somewhat strange yard set up. And it is now time to get a few props down. Okay, so we've got a, a nice little yard with some strange train behavior happening. <laughs> um, we could do with a little bit more detailing, but I think we'll leave it for the moment. 